What does it mean when someone says that this is priced in? I mean, we have all been there. We discuss a stock with someone and then the person says, ah yeah, but that's priced in already. A lot of people get confused when they think of the term priced in. So I wanted to share some thoughts on it today. So let's say you find this fictional company named Super Ecommerce Inc. The stock of this fictional company is trading at $100 a share. You think that e-commerce is a growing market that is growing by a high percentage point a year. They are in a stable country and they even have a dominant position. They have a great management team, they are already profitable and the margins are good. So you think, wow, this company should be worth much more. But here is the problem. You are not the only person that knows these things. The market consists of millions of market participants and these people also believe that the e-commerce sector is growing. This is a really great company. They are also aware of all the other things about the company such as the management team that I mentioned. So obviously there is a high chance that this knowledge is baked into the price of $100 a share already. So here we have the big problem. Let's say the earnings come in and the results are fantastic. Even better, the company raises the guidance after the call. But shockingly, the price of the stock drops 10% on the news. How could this have happened? The news were fantastic. The management team was high-fiving during the earnings call. Everybody was happy. You already thought about buying a new car from the profits you made on this great trade. And then the stock went down after hours. So what has happened? As you know, a lot of people are following this company. And you're not the only one. It is possible that the expectations were too high to begin with. It is likely that too much of this optimism went into the price to begin with. Many market participants expected even more than the great earnings. We are not alone in the world. You and many others are looking at the same company. So it is possible that the price gets bid up because many of us share the same beliefs of the future. Bernard Baruch says something that everybody knows isn't worth knowing. I think we can apply his quote here. Since a lot of people are aware that e-commerce is growing and people bid up the price for the stock, it isn't really worth knowing. I mean, this doesn't give us any advantage over other market participants. Everybody knows it already. Of course, through research, we could determine that the company could grow even more than all the others already anticipate. Then this stock would not have everything priced in and we would have an advantage. But keep in mind that this is very unlikely in today's environment. Especially large cap stocks in the billions of dollars have so many eyes on them that it would be very unlikely that you know something nobody else does. Just to give you an example from the e-commerce world, some companies buy credit card data to see how money is being spent by customers. How can we expect to know more than these guys? This is actually why small cups could give you an advantage over the big institutions. I will make a video about the advantages of small cup stocks in the near future. But let's get back to the priced in part. When you think about the price of a stock, keep in mind that stocks are priced based on the expectations for the company. It is not necessarily priced for what it is really worth today. The price is based on the expectations of millions of people about how this company will perform in the future. So priced in simply means that a lot of the future expectations are reflected in the price already. As in everybody expects that the sample company will do X amount of earnings next quarter that it will grow X amount of percent a year and so on. This isn't news to anybody anymore. But also keep in mind that these expectations have to be met. If not, the price could drop and it could actually drop very sharply. Just like in the sample I mentioned in the beginning where stock price dropped even after fantastic earnings got announced. We profit in the markets when we discover things that are not yet reflected in the price. When something is not priced in yet, that's what could give us an edge to deliver outsized returns in the stock market. So it would be an advantage to look at smaller cap stocks where you don't compete with every analyst and finance guru out there already. This is the big challenge in the markets, to find something that not many people know yet. By the way, this could also work in reverse. Let's say you see Deadbeat Company Inc and it's trading for only 5 bucks a share. Everybody believes that this company is not going to earn much in the future. So the price is very depressed. Someone could say that a lot of negativity is priced into the company's stock price. The company might even have a solid balance sheet and could be considered undervalued by some people. So this could actually generate a lot of opportunities for the diligent investor. What if most market participants made a mistake and they priced in too much of the bad thing? What if thanks to research you can determine that the company is working on something that could change the whole narrative? Priced in just means that expectations are already reflected in a price, either good or bad. If we want to have outsized returns in the stock market, 
try to find a company where something positive isn't reflected in the price yet. Because if it's not priced in yet, there's a high chance that it will get priced in once other market participants discover the same thing that you did. So this is it for me for today. I hope you learned something from watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe and make sure that you check my other videos. Have a great day and thanks for watching.